Okay, so now we're going to show you how to use the library online at BYU Hawaii to help you do research. Um, so you type in library.byuh.edu. This will bring you to the main library webpage. This is what you see. Now you've got some help tools here where you can look at uh, some, some how do I questions, chat offline if you want to send a message to the library with a question, and, um, and then you can search for things you want to read here. But what I'm going to show you now is how to log on. So here, down here you have databases. Okay? So there are lots of databases starting with different letters. So let's say, for example, you wanted to, to check out something in history. Maybe you'd, uh, let's see, see if we can click on H and see if we get something with history. Okay, now we have a list of these databases starting with H. Because the library has access to many different information databases. Oh, see, I didn't find anything uh, much with history there. Um, humani oh, humanities, humanities video online, I didn't know about that one. Um, you've got this historical newspapers, and you've got other things beginning with H. I'm just going to try for fun, clicking on this humanities video online. Now when you click on a database, it's going to ask you to log in. And you're going to use your student ID Ignore this. This says CES Net ID. That is only for on-campus students. But if you're a, an online-only student, you use your student ID. So you type in your student ID and your password, and you click login. Now, now I have access to that particular database. And if it's one of the videos databases, then there's several um, video databases where you can uh, watch very good uh, academic um, videos. And you can search them here. So I could browse all videos, for example. And I click over here. And it'll just give me a list of videos. And these are humanities videos. Okay, so that's that's a good thing to just to, to see. So I'm going to go back to the library. And you need you always need to know which database you want to go into when you're an online student because um, it, it probably won't work the other way. But we're going to do a test. So here, maybe you're looking for something. Maybe you're looking for there's something about history. Click on search. Okay, that was a bit too generic because you see how many <laughs> how many entries there will that it will find and if I want to keep going to the next page, click next, but that's obviously too generic. So let's talk about something that's put in Mongolia. And now you have these articles or books or videos or journals related to Mongolia. But again, there's 20, you know, almost 30,000 of these. So you see here you have to get specific. So let's put in another word. Let's look at Mongolia art. Okay, now I've only got 2,000, almost 3,000. Now you're starting to get to actual, it tells you on the left what they are, a book, newspaper article, an article. So let's, let's click on one of these. There's, a, there's an article here, so we're going to click on the article.
and then it's asking for it's telling me how I can click on um, click on the full text. In fact, up here I will do it. So it tells me it's available online, and I can click on the full text. Now, at any point in time, it may ask you to log in, in which case you put in your student ID and password again. In this case, it's giving me access to the article, and here it is. So there's an article I can read and study, and I can quote from it if I need to in a paper I'm writing. But we're in a particular database. This is not the BYU-Hawaii library system. This is the database that, that the library has access to. If I want to go back to the, the library, then I go to the top of the page and I click on this link, and it will take me back to the library. So you see that the library has access to many, many things. And if you want to uh, search on something specific, then you, you can start using the search. But if you know the, 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 the database that you're interested in, then you can click on one of these. Um, for example, let's click on E. I'm going to take you to EBSCO. This is one of the... Oh no, let's look at Education Full Text EBSCO. And it, it, when you hover over it, it tells you what it is. You click on it. You can make a note because I already logged in once, taking me straight there. And now it's taking you to the home page for this particular database where you can start uh, putting in a search for articles that they might have. But I'm going to go back to the, the library. And I'm going to oh, so click on EBSCO host. OK. Now this is a good one to know. Academic Search Premier. This is a very, very good search engine. This is one I used to use a lot when I was doing my uh, my doctoral degree. And this is simply somewhere where you put in uh, a term. So, let's see if I can find my own papers in asynchronous video. That's the term we use for the asynchronous uh, for, for the video recording we do in these classes. Okay, so here's an article that talks about using asynchronous video that I would be able to look at. And all of these uh, have the terms asynchronous and video in them somewhere. So that's how you can search within this database. And yeah, remember this one, this uh, academic search premiere, which is in EBSCO host. I'm going to show you that again because that's a good one. So you go to E, you go to EBSCO host. and you go to straight into Academic Search Premier. And this is probably the best way to search through journals for articles that, can, that you can use to study and research a topic you've been asked to study. This is my recommendation as, as the very best one. Uh, now I'm going to go back to some videos because, so, oh sorry, ebooks. I, I noticed here there's a database for BYU Hawaii ebooks. Let's click on that. Okay, so now you, now you see you have a list of uh, topic areas where you can uh, look up some ebooks. So maybe we will look at um, technology. And here are some ebooks. Download the ebook. 
use the eBury reader and these are electronic books okay there's that um, I noticed here there's some sheet music if you're a musician if you're a student at BYU Hawaii you have access to any of these books and there you have some sheet music that you could use and there's lots of it and you can search for something so there's another database go back, go back, go back back to the main library now the, the, the key is knowing which da database you're looking for there's a lot of databases so you might want to look at a subject guide so if you are studying biology for example click on biology and click on go to subject guide maybe you want to find journals and you can search for the name of the journal and it just gives you different helps so you can just, just look through the information you find on any of these places and make use of it, search for your journal there um, but typically the way I do it is I just find the journal I'm, that I've used a lot uh, like the EBSCOhost Academic Search Premier that's the one I really like and here's another one, if you're in history classes you will be want to uh, sorry, our American history classes, you'll be using this database which is American videos, history videos online sorry, American history in video, this one here and this is how you get into it, you go to the databases, click on A find, find this in the list and then you go to it now because I've already logged in I think it's going to take me straight there but you would normally have to log in with your student ID and password and now you have access to the history, the American history videos maybe I want to just search for video so I can see the various uh, databases that have video in them but that wasn't very helpful because it has a million entries because it's pulling all the videos so maybe now I want to do an advanced search not the way to do it, advanced search up here I don't want to do any field contains video, I want to say subject, no that's not going to work either I want a collection, no actually I can't figure out how to do that so <laughs> you just need to know where the videos are in the different databases so you can look through all these databases, you can, if you're looking for anything and you think you might want to find some videos so I don't know what could, well, let's find science videos. I don't know if it even exists. So I'm going to click on S. Oh, look, science video online. And it's hosted by the so you can see the same thing come up for all the videos. And you can browse all the videos. find something that is useful to you on these science videos so there are so many resources in the library and one of the reasons why I'm doing it like this I'm, I'm actually kind of playing around a little bit because that's how you do it that's how you find your way to information now if there's something very specific that you're trying to find then click on chat offline and send a message saying I'm and, and let them know what you're looking for exactly and they will they will tell you which database or which journal you want to be looking at if I click on journals here then I can also select the journals by by letter so that was databases that is specifically journals so maybe I want to do a medical journal I don't know if we will have any medicine journals but let's click on M and then you can see it has access to any of the journals starting with M and this isn't what I was looking for, but you can just use that search. So this is how you find things in the library. And that's the end.